you can't capture Scotland in camera. You can't do it. You some of these views are so amazing. So the time is now 8.26 in the morning, uh, we've just woken up in Scotland, uh, we, we slept on a, a sleeper train so we slept the night and I've never done it before and it was, it was really cool, I really enjoyed it, especially when you open up the blinds and you're in a completely different place, it feels like you've been travelling for ages, it feels like you've been asleep for years. So we've just got back from our first trail of the week, which was Cow's Hill Trail. The sun was absolutely scorching today, but the views were worth it because the views of Scotland on this trail were amazing. There was a moment in the trail that we all stopped and we tried to find which mountain was Ben Nevis, the one, the, the tallest peak in the UK that we were going to climb by the end of this week. But the problem was all these mountains all looked massive. All of these mountains were so big we didn't know which one was the peak until we looked it up and we realised that that one that we were looking at was the tallest mountain. And I think when we were at the bottom it kind of hit us and we sort of realised how daunting and how challenging that this climb is actually going to be. We eventually made it to the top and already the views of Scotland, like I've said before, the views of Scotland were amazing. Looking down at Fort William where we were staying, you realise how isolated this small town is compared to London which is where we're from. When we were on our way down we encountered a small family looking over at the views and they had this amazing adorable little puppy with them. She couldn't have been more than one year old because she was absolutely lovely and seeing this dog at the top of this, this uh, small trail made me miss my dogs from back home and it's already been day one. I never got the family's name and I never got the name of the puppy but I wish I did but at the same time I quite like the fact that I don't know who they are and I just had a small chat with them and I think there and then it solidified to me how nice the people in Scotland were and I wasn't wrong throughout the week every single person I spoke to at Fort William was so nice they just loved the fact that we were there to climb their mountain it belongs to them These lakes, when the sun hits it right, looks absolutely lovely. Uh, and I was saying this to Cam, you can't capture Scotland in camera. You can't do it. You, some of these views are so amazing, I can't capture it using my camera. My camera's very good at what it does, but you have to come to Scotland to really experience it. So we just got a uh, taxi to the bottom of Ben Nevis uh, and we start climbing to the bottom of Ben Nevis. Extremely foggy, gives it that really eerie vibe, which is what I don't really need this morning. <laughs> um, but we start walking and uh, it's all going all right. It's going fine. And uh, you then just look to your left and this massive, massive thing just starts emerging from the fog the clouds and it's the mountain and it suddenly hit me that we're going to be climbing to the top of that today.
So when I said it was uh, when we were down at the bottom uh, and then it was all misty and, and ominous, we've just managed to walk past out of the mist and uh, the views are just incredible and you can see the layer of mist. It looks fantastic. So the time is uh, 10 past 11. We're looking up it now and it's, it's still just as daunting as it was at the beginning. Um, but the fog has gone, the mist has gone, so we can just see the mountain clearly now. And uh, we stopped at this beautiful lake. And we had a little, we just uh, freshened up a bit, stopped, had a break, had a snack. And uh, yeah, extremely peaceful, absolutely silent. But we've got, got to start doing it again. So, just been climbing after the zigzag and we're starting to see these really nice uh, little towers of rocks and then eventually I get up the slope and you wouldn't believe it, there's snow at the top. There's just a big plain of snow, a big just white little patch and it just feels so good when you've been in the heat and it's so hot and you just put a big chunk of snow over your neck, it feels absolutely lovely. Everyone's up here, just smiley faces. It's great. is 10 past three and all three of us have eventually climbed up to the top of Ben Nevis. We are now officially at the peak. I am absolutely exhausted but it was so worth the journey up here 